Stephanie Brandenburg here today, finally coming back to you. By the way, these are readers, just so you know, I can't see anything if I don't have these on. Um, there are 1.25, which is great. So anyway, it's been a long time. Thanks for hanging in there with me. We've had a lot of transition here at Fraun Design Studios. And one of the greatest things that we just completed is this wonderful, beautiful project called Between. When we first started Fraun Design Studios, we used this pattern with our plaster of Paris and some of the beautiful watercolor fabrics that Rose had done. So we have modified this because we have a lot of these patterns and as I was going through a lot of our patterns you'll be seeing us kind of reworking some of these with our new fabrics. When you get this kit you're going to get the complete pattern and then this has a big template okay and so you're going to get the whole thing. This beautiful quilt was modified from a piece of art so all of the templates are in here okay and then we're going to have a written addendum to show you what we did how we cut these out. If you look closely here, you'll see that this beautiful flowing skirt is the iris from our Daydreams collection, our debut collection with Northcott. You'll also see beautiful pieces of sunflower in here along with our beautiful frond coordinates, plaster of Paris again. But being able to use not only the flower of the iris, the bloom itself, but also the backgrounds, the beautiful yellows, the bright yellows, incorporating all of that in with this and then our beautiful black obsidian as our focal fabric for the background. This is a really easy process. It looks a lot more complicated than it is. Mary Patterson made this for me. She's amazing. These are not turned under. So if you are a person that wants that, you're going to want to just extend that out a fourth inch turn that under, iron it, and then come back in and sew this on if you are wired that way and you want a uh, finished applique look. This is um, raw edge. You can also use Terial Arts, which is a great little product that you can soak your fabrics in before you use them. Cut them out and they will not fray. I'm gonna show you because this is why I've put this off. I was in California helping my daughter move her beautiful family for work and so uh, it's taken me a little bit to come back and get my head back in the game so I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. But I wanted to show you, I laid out on the floor the flowers that Mary cut the skirt out of and different pieces. I'm going to just grab the camera and show you those pieces we laid on the painter's cloth canvas. Used. Same with the iris here, we go up to the iris. And two sides of this. I just wanted to mention that you can see the way that this was put together, okay, and the way that it flows. But remember with Frond, we want you to put your own spin on things. So you'll have plenty of fabric left. You can see where we cut that out from the floor but you can see all this beautiful color and flow here in the bloom. You can use this as well. You don't have to do it exactly like we did it. You can put these colors into the skirt and utilize that as well. And you're gonna have this same beautiful look that we have here with the blue. Yes, some of those colors will change up a little bit, but you can see there's some burgundy here. Um, you can come in here and just have that kind of, that flowy, look with these flowers. That was the whole concept. So we want you to put your spin on it too and just get funky. You can see how beautiful that the flow is of the flower just in pieces. So that's kind of the effect we're going for here with the skirt. But just, you know, put your own spin on it. It's it's your own take on it. We do the art so you can just grab that baton and put your own art into it. I'll be talking about the Halloween line coming next, the Spooky Spice kit that's on our website. Uh, we're going to keep that price point at the 99. We're going to talk about how to do that because it's a really fun way to cut up the panels and get a great look. So that'll be our next feature. I also wanted to mention really quick, I am doing a, a class uh, at The Stitch with Tracy uh, over in Jefferson, Iowa. She has such a great classroom and it's so much fun to do that. We will be doing a, a take on the art weave. People keep asking me, what are we doing? What are we doing? What we're going to be doing is a weave. So we're gonna be taking the uh, iris panel that you see here used in the skirt and we're gonna be weaving that together as an art piece. Now you can choose your flowers. I let you always choose your flowers, but that's the one I'm, I'm going to be working on for the model. So as I continue to do that too, I will show you that. So um, Tracy's been asking me, what are we doing? So, and then we're going to come back over and add those embellishments. Uh, if you were at the other class, you know, we did some thread punk. Frond is really fun to do that. You know, the, the thread punk pom-poms that we have that go with the flowers and you can just add those and meander. Great class to do, especially if you're a machine store and you want to kind of learn that free motion, any of that stuff. So, you know, we just want to keep 
putting it out there of what you can do with Frond. So anyway, thanks. It's great to be back, you guys, and uh, look forward to uh, more videos coming your way.